Swimming Pool Steve here with another swimming pool equipment installation review, reviewing four deficiencies. So, as always, let's get started with the suction line here. So we've got some old poly pipe that's been transitioned over to PVC, which is a good idea. Um, those clamps are done correctly, as you see, facing opposite directions like that to make sure that uh, you've got tightness and equally on both sides as opposed to um, having both of the, the nuts in one spot there. You'd have a tight spot here and it'd be a little bit looser of fit over here and you could develop a leak. So re reversing them like that is the correct way to do a, uh, a polybarbed connection. So we've gone polybarbed connection into a slip coupling, into inch and a half small flex, into a sweep elbow, into a male adapter which has been set with silicone into the front of a one horse Hayward super pump. Um, take a look here, you can see a lot of heat damage. This guy's, this guy's pretty old. This pump's near the end of its service life. It's not running right now, the pool's empty, we're working on it. Um, but I would expect that it probably doesn't sound great, and even if it does, uh, be saving your pennies, you'll be replacing this sooner than later. Now all that rust that you see there, this equipment is, is made to weather outside regardless of, regardless of the weather ice, snow, rain, whatever, it's made to sit outside. Um, protected equipment indoors will last longer and look nicer, uh, but you should get the full service life, life of seven years, which is what this manufacturer recommends that their pumps might last for. Um, really, you should even get longer than that, and this one is probably older than that. But that heat damage right there is from this pump being too hot, and it's caused all this rusting, as you can see there. It could be that there's somewhat of a flow restriction, it could be that this, this system operates at a high pressure, and this pump is just, you know, working its, uh, its heart out just constantly. Um, it could be that the pump was run dry on occasion, where maybe the water level in the pool dropped below the uh, mouth of the skimmer and this pump were to run dry, that would cause it to heat up and trip out, and which could cause the start of this rusting process. Next, switching to the filter here, we have a quite old Hayward sand filter. Now, it's kind of hard to see in the video here, but this, uh, this filter is a little bit undersized for this pool. Because filtration accounts for at least 50% of the water clarity, you're better to oversize your filter to undersize it. Um, this swimming pool is a 1632 kidney that's about 8 feet deep in the deep end, and this, could, can't, this can't be more than 200 pounds of sand, maybe even 175. I would prefer to see about 250 pounds of sand, uh, maybe even a 24 inch uh, sand filter would be my ideal. This probably gets the job done, uh, but in the world of filters, there's a very little cost difference between this size and then the next size up. Always oversize it. So here we are, inch and a half spa flex, sweep elbows. That union there is for winterization. That's nice to see those in. Uh, so we go down here into an old Minimax style heater. These were really popular. Um, they must have been pretty good quality because even these really old ones I see still quite serviceable. But I do see some problems here. So I like the unions for uh, easy access for winterization. It's a little bit of a flow restriction here with all these. That's a two inch threaded reducing bushing into inch and a half female thread with an inch and a half male threaded adapter threaded in and then an inch and a half union. So it's uh, quite a bit of flow restriction there, um, but the system's pretty small, so it's probably not a huge deal. Uh, the biggest problem I have is, of course, Hayward salt cell directly into this heater. There needs to be a check valve in between here and here to prevent any of the chlor chlorine that this cell is generating from backtracking into the heater. A setup like this will reduce the service life of this heater. This heater will fail earlier as a result of that, and if this is a new heater, that you've installed and let's say it failed and you called for warranty when you show them this show them that there was no check valve here you will not meet warranty and they will not cover your warranty unfortunately so make sure you have that further to that there should be bonding on this I don't see any bonding lugs at all on this I don't believe this heater is bonded it should be I would get uh, bonding lugs and uh, attach them via number six bonding wire just like that right there that's the empty bonding lug for the pump, which should also be bonded. Okay, so getting back to the salt cell here. This is the flow meter, flow switch, sorry, to co control this uh, Hayward salt cell. It needs to detect flow in order for this to generate chlorine. Now, the rule for installation of these is you need 10 times the pipe diameter in front and 4 times the pipe diameter following in a straight line for this flow switch to be reliable. So let's say this was two inch pipe, you need 10 times two inch, they'd be 20 inches here, 
and four times two inch, which would be eight inches here. So this, this pipe doesn't meet that. This is actually inch and a half pipe. So you are meeting the, uh, they consider this, they consider the cell itself now part of the straight run, so that's okay. So we've got enough straight run there to coming into it, but that 90 probably should have been a little bit further. I mean, it'll push it another six inches. Um, does this work? Sure. Uh, could it be better? Sure. So, 10 times pipe di diameter before, four times pipe diameter following the flow switch in a straight line, unobstructed. So then we go back into the poly for the return line here. And again, we've got a street elbow here. So that's a barbed fitting uh, street elbow. I would have preferred to see a sweep elbow or something like that. Um, but in the world of poly fittings, you kind of use what you have on your truck at the time to get it done. The system's very small. The, the pool itself is not that big. It's a one horsepower pump. Um, so it's really not a huge deal. Um, but could it be better? Technically, yes.